New data shows thousands of Texas nurses are leaving the profession. It's creating a lack of care that nurses at the Capitol today worried is unsustainable. And among the reasons they are leaving threats of violence in the workplace, one state representative is working to end that worry in hopes that more Texans go to work to save lives. Our Ryan Chandler reports from the Capitol. Nurses uh, experience a lot of mental anguish. On top of the long hours and life or death decisions in her workplace, nurse Mary Vitulo faces another stress on the job, the risk of harm from the patients she works to help. It's time for us to come together and pass a bill that it's going to protect nurses. We are talking about healthcare professionals who are there to take care of us. And the least we can do is take care of them. State Representative Donna Howard says she remembers the violence she experienced as a nurse. It's a hard job to have to also deal with the possibility of being injured, uh, having verbal abuse, New data from the Texas Hospital Association shows 98% of hospitals reported violence has only worsened or stayed the same since the pandemic began. Of those experiencing violence, more than 60% say it's getting more severe. Violence is just one concern pushing nurses out the door. From burnout to compensation, nurses say Texas needs comprehensive solutions to keep beds staffed at home and in the hospital. Across Texas, more than 60% of hospitals have empty beds and fewer services because they don't have enough nurses. Representative Howard says her bill hopes to make the profession more sustainable by requiring hospitals to have violence prevention plans. It's not a part of the job to accept violence. Ryan Chandler, KXAN News. And Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick has also prioritized funding tuition for nursing students and building more hospitals in rural areas. And Representative Howard's bill has bipartisan support in the House and was left pending in committee today. Going in depth right now, the Texas Workforce Commission's labor market analysis shows there's a gap of about 20,000 registered nurses in Texas. Recent projections show healthcare employment will grow 18% in 2028, adding 190,000 new jobs. That growth is expected to account for more than 11% of overall expected growth in Texas.